welcome back to my channel so today I am working with Arabella hair they did send me this hair and I wanted to do like a cinnamon ginger color so this is what I'm showing you in this video and there's a part two of me um, installing this wig as well so if you want to see that I'll link it at the end of this video so basically I made this into a wig um, I did have three bund four bundles and a closure and I did use my um, blonde me a bleach and my 30 volume developer and I am just going to apply that generously all throughout the hair so this these clips are just using me how I'm saturating it and then I'm foiling the section so I'm foiling the section so it can help it lift and process and basically that's what I'm doing it I'm folding it folding the foils neat on the hair and so I won't have like demarcations or anything but I did have a little bit of imperfections on this wig but it wasn't nothing it just really gave it dimensions um so I really didn't mind it but this hair lifted really good um and I didn't have any dryness when it come came to this hair because I bleached it what I am going to tell you like I will always tell you on every single video make sure that you guys purchase silicone mix so you guys can keep your wigs healthy and hydrated and conditioned silicone mix is a conditioner and the longer you leave it on the better all right so the the least amount of time i would say to leave it on is about 30 minutes but you can leave it on for way longer than that all right so after i applied the bleach i left the bleach sitting on my hair for about i would say 35 to 40 minutes and so i'm just gonna let you guys watch me bleach and when it's time for me to come back into the video i will you know chime in Oh, you guys, so if you saw the intro, you saw my curls. I am, I, I've gotten better at curls, but they still not be bomb. So, um, I'm trying here. Uh, I didn't want to record that because I did record it, but I didn't like the footage because I struggled. And it's okay when you're learning how to do something new. So, um, curls is definitely new to me like I typically wear straight hair but for content purposes I am learning how to curl and it's like that flick of the wrist that that is hard for me to figure out how to curl so I've been watching a lot of tutorials my friends have been helping me learn as well and I'm gonna get it you know I'm gonna get it <laughs> <laughs> but right now my curls are struggling but they serve its purpose for this video okay and she still look cute especially in my pictures hey now You guys actually went really crazy when I uploaded this picture on this picture of this wig onto IG and so and I you know I've been getting a lot of inspirational messages talking about like how I helped you guys learn how to make wigs and do certain colors and stuff like that and that is the goal like the goal is to pay it forward to teach you guys something like even though I don't do one-on-one -on -one classes yet but that will be coming in the near future hopefully um i want to show you guys how to make wigs because although you know you could purchase wigs and stuff like that this is a great skill to have especially when you're in a pandemic like this and you need to learn how to do your hair and you can't afford because you you, you on your budget and you can't afford it like girl like it's easy chillax 
go to the go to the beauty supply get you some quick bundles make you a little wig real quick and that is the goal all right so start or or you could you could step it up and start your own business like this content is out here for you and for you to use it as you like all right but don't steal my stuff and don't give me credit <laughs> that's all i'm saying but yeah i appreciate you guys for always showing me love and support like you guys keep me going um especially on times that I'm, i've been feeling down and i've been feeling down pretty recently like for the past couple of months and you guys definitely have helped me and kept me motivated and just gave me a lot of inspirational words even though you didn't know how I've been feeling and how and what I've been going through so I really appreciate you guys and I love you guys and I'll call you my best friends because you guys literally act like my best friends and I just wanted to tell you guys that I love y'all all right so okay let me I'm getting too mushy Let, let's go back to the video so basically bleaching is a process okay i probably was doing this for a good 35 minutes okay so i, I just showed you guys how i did one side and not the other and you basically do the same thing for your frontal or closure yes get them roots get them knots because you want those bleached as well all right so this is what my wig looks like after everything has been foiled and yeah so after it's been foiled and i let it sit for about 35 40 minutes um i am going to go take it to the kitchen and i am going to wash the bleach out so this is what my wig looks like after it has been washed out this is the color no i did not use shampoo and no i haven't conditioned it yet i just purely washed it out with water and make sure that all of that bleach was out and the two colors i'm going to use to achieve this color is cinnamon and ginger by adore so i have my little water bucket then i am going to do the water water color method because i just do not feel like hand coloring anything and um i only had two color a color of each so i was like okay we're going to spread this out the long way now watercolor doesn't typically last a very long time on your hair it typically fades faster but it will give you that longevity that you need before you have to do your touch up of your color but it does not last as long as it does when you actually hand apply that color onto your wig so i am going to use hot water from the sink and then i'm gonna just let my wig sit in there until all of that color absorbs and this is what the color i got at the end oh i know i'm gonna get ask this so after i water colored i did go in with a non-stripping shampoo you can use any and then you want to go and condition your wig and then style it to your liking and like i said i do have a video of me flat ironing in the hair and me installing the wig so if you want to see that just wait to the end of the video there will be a link for you guys all right um thank you arabella hair for picking me to try your hair it did lift amazing in the the quality is it's wonderful like i said it's not dry so don't forget to follow me on instagram if you have not already please like share and subscribe to your girl's channel please leave me some ideas of wigs that you guys will love to see i am i love to recreate wigs or try to cre recreate wigs okay but yeah until next time bye best friends <laughs>